what's going on guys welcome back Chris here at Colavella South Farm so we finished up our uh, latest batch of syrup guys uh, finished it up yesterday got another gallon and three quarters so we're up to almost four gallons on the season so uh, we're making good progress there everything worked well with our floor repair that we did uh, we cleaned it up just a little bit I don't know how well you guys can see that uh, trimmed it out some and uh, yeah we're getting a pretty good uh, pretty good amount of syrup so uh sugaring's going well hopefully uh we'll get some sap running this week but we'll see uh the weather looks like we might but you know not 100 percent sure now we got all this snow uh, we got about eight inches the other day so that'll make it a little more challenging i really should go out today and check make sure all the lids are on the tanks and there's no snow and none of the lines came down or nothing like that so probably do that later but actually, this video, I wanted to do um, a 50-hour review on our John Deere 5075E tractor. Uh, we just crossed over 50 hours, so I thought maybe I'd kind of talk about what I like about the tractor, you know, any issues we've had, what I don't like, you know, basically kind of give you guys an honest review now that we have some time on it. So as you guys, most of you know, we picked this tractor up back in the summer, uh, got a great deal on it. We upgraded from a Mahindra 6065 open station to this 5075E cab tractor. Um, we really wanted a cab again, I mentioned before, and uh, I was having a parts problem with the Mahindra. Deer wasn't having those problems, so we and we got a good price on it, so we picked it up. And uh, it's been a good machine for us so far. We've had a few small issues I'll talk about here. Um, the first one was back here with our uh remote valve we had this one actually we had a snap ring pop out and it stopped working but uh deer took care of that under warranty and the tractor actually went in to get the second set of remotes put on so they just fixed that set it was all under warranty didn't cost me anything it was a real quick easy fix the only other issue that we've had with it is um i had the fuel gel over two different times one of them i was able to uh Get some anti-gel some 911 in it i talked about it before and uh, got it taken care of the second time no, i was not so lucky i had to drain the whole tank um which i don't think that's really an issue with the tractor more as the fuel supplier i think i just got it some some cruddy fuel um haven't had the problem since you know we it was when we were plowing yesterday plowing the snow with it it was only like eight degrees and it it fired right up it was a little cold because i had forgotten to plug it in but uh no other issues so issues wise really uh nothing um one question i got recently was about how i like the regeneration on these versus uh like the mahindra that did not have a regeneration it had um the the different system to be honest uh i think this is only ge regenerated once if at all um i haven't really paid that close attention i think it did regenerate back like 10 hours ago but i'm not 100 percent sure so I've had no issues with regenerating or any problems that's brought up because it just it hasn't done it. And being this time of year, we just don't operate it near as much as we would in the summer summer when we're mowing a lot and, you know, doing trail work and getting everything, you know, going on the farm. We, we really only use it for doing some firewood and some pushing snow around this time of year. So that's one question uh, I had recently responded to in a comment. And uh, I've had no issues whatsoever with, with the regeneration system or anything like that um i've heard of people having issues but i've you know i haven't really heard of it often um you know isolated case here or there which is common in any uh any piece of equipment we did um add several options to this that i didn't really talk about too much um but i'll show you guys now uh we put the door kit on the other side here so originally this comes with this door doesn't open uh when when you buy a, a normal 5075e this is an optional replacement we actually got this from green parts store which no we're not sponsored um but they had a good price on it and they you know had it in stock came with everything we needed um the door is already there so all you really have to do is add uh the bar and the the uh, door handle and then the grab handle and it comes with a new basically the there's no step here normally you just have a blank cover and it comes with a step that goes on the battery box so that was one option we did we obviously put in a block heater which uh it didn't come with we put in a horn so we've actually optioned this tractor up 
um, quite a bit from where we started with it. Um, I mentioned in a previous video that we changed where the seat location is. We actually pulled the seat out, drilled some new holes in the frame and moved it back another inch just to give us some more legroom. I would say as far as operating the tractor, that is my one and only complaint is I wish the cab was a couple inches wider. It is a little tight, especially when I have one of the kids in the buddy seat. I mean, if we had an extra like two inches of space, it would be phenomenal. Um, doesn't have to be much bigger, but in a couple extra inches would be would be great. That's really the only thing that, uh, that my only real complaint. Uh, as far as servicing, uh, we haven't even done the first service yet. I did have to change the fuel filter um, when we had the gelling issue, so I have done that. Um, obviously, I've greased the loader a bunch. We did, uh, I mentioned in a video, we widened out the tires. We, uh, we swapped the tire to get an extra couple inches of width, which has helped with stability. Um, from when we first got it, tires being so narrow with the cab, even though they're loaded, it did felt a little tippy on the hills. It feels much better now. It feels pretty much normal. I don't have that same tippy feeling like I did. So that really helped. And if we still get that tippy feeling, we can always widen the tractor out some more. There's more adjustments that can be made on that. Um, I think there's six way adjustable wheels, if I remember correctly. So we always have the option to, uh, to go wider if we need to. So that's most of uh, you know what our observations have been with this tractor so far, guys. Um, I did notice too that uh, even with the loaded tires, when we don't have like the flail mower on the back, uh, this loader lifts so much that it does. You do get pretty light in the butt, um, the butt end. Uh, so it's definitely something to consider. Um, you know, as making sure you have plenty of counterweight if you're gonna use the loader in heavy applications, cause you definitely feel that lightness, you know, when I'm lifting up a log or something else, even though we have the loaded tires. When the flail mower's on it in the summer, that's another eight, 900 pounds on the back and you don't notice it, but you know, with just a rear blade on it, it definitely is, it is definitely much more noticeable. Um, but for the most part, you know, I'm very, very happy with the machine. Uh, very few issues, you know, We've had, you know, a few little things happen, but it was mostly my fault. Like I tweaked, uh, I tweaked the, the loader indicator a little bit. I, I just got, I was working with a log and I had one kind of get a stick under there and tweak it, but we were able to bend it back. And I did lose one of these black uh, connectors pieces off of the uh, third function kit. I don't know what happened to that. I don't, I, I don't know if we got some water behind it and it, the ice popped it off or what, but uh, so we'll probably want to replace that hydraulic valve at some point or that hydraulic fitting, excuse me, uh, just cause those black uh, push fittings are so much easier. They really, they're really a nice feature. So that really kind of wraps up, um, you know, my impressions and you know, what we've seen the first 50 hours, you know, very few problems. The tractors run really well. Um, you know, a few minor issues, but nothing really major. Um, the dealer support has been, I would say it's been okay. I wouldn't say it's excellent. I wouldn't say it's bad. It's been okay. Um, not, you know, by no means does that reflect on deer as a company, but just as my local dealer. And I'm not going to name names. They've, you know, we've had some good experiences and some not so good ones. So all in all, I would say it's an okay experience. Uh, you know, I think they're improving. Uh, I think there was still a lot of shakeup because there was a recent merger or buyout of uh, of one company to another. And I think there was kind of, you know, some stuff got lost in translation for a while. So um, they seem to be, you know, good with the warranty work. You know, when we did have a problem, they, they got it right in and uh, took care of it. So yeah, um, all in all, I, I think we made a really good decision buying this tractor. Um, the next thing, you know, we'll, we're, we're looking to get some more implements for it. Um, I mentioned the sawmill, hopefully we'll get some word on that soon. So that'll be really cool. And then we'll really start using the tractor more to, uh, to be able to load logs on the mill and start cutting some stuff. So we got some big stuff coming guys. You know, unfortunately this time of year is kind of slow just because of, uh, the weather. It makes it hard to, uh, to get a lot done when you got snow on the ground and everything's froze up. So 
Anyway, guys, I think that's gonna about wrap this one up. I know a little different video than I normally do. Uh, pretty much me just talking, but uh, you know, now that we had 50 hours, I really wanted to give you guys an honest review of what I thought so far, um, especially for those folks out there that are looking to buy tractors or looking at this specific model. Um, you know, to give you a little more food from thought of as what I've seen as an owner for the last 50 hours, you know, maybe it'll help with your buying decision. So anyway, guys, like I like to say, if you like these videos, please subscribe, hit the like button, and leave us a comment. Tell us what you think. And just remember, it'll be all right.